Editing video on your phone is not a great experience. Trying to make precise edits on a tiny screen with your fingers instead of a cursor? It's rough. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create and edit your next vertical video in Camtasia. Whether you're making YouTube shorts, TikTok videos, or Instagram reels, Camtasia makes editing them a breeze. If you don't already have the latest version of Camtasia, you can download a free trial in the description. First, we wanna record our video. You can do this right on your phone, or you could use Camtasia Rev. If you're using your phone, you'll need to transfer your footage to your computer. If you're using the Camtasia recorder, open it up and choose all your normal camera and audio settings that you need. Because Camtasia Rev always records in a horizontal format to start, I'm gonna step a little farther back from my camera than I might normally stand. That way, the horizontal footage can be cropped vertical and still look nice on the canvas. Once we record the clip, it opens up options for us in Rev. First thing we'll do is apply a vertical layout. Then we have the option to apply a background, but because I filled the screen, I'm not gonna do that for this video. If one is already selected, you can just select it again to turn it off. Next, choose Edit in Camtasia. Because you recorded in Camtasia Rev, the footage is already added to your timeline. If you added footage from your phone, once you drag it out of the media bin and onto your timeline, Camtasia automatically recognizes that it's vertical and adjusts the canvas for you. I'm gonna add in a call to action for my followers by clicking the Camtasia Assets tab in the media bin. I'll use the little drop down next to the search bar to find customizable titles. By searching with the word subscribe, I found this bell animation. But since this is for TikTok and Reels as well, I'll change it to say follow by selecting it and editing it in the properties panel. Once your footage is organized on the timeline, you're ready for the next step, trimming clips and adding graphics. In this section, I hesitated, so I wanna cut it out. Select the clip to delete, then right click the footage and choose ripple delete to merge your footage together seamlessly. Each app we're gonna post this to has different music licensing agreements, which in plain English means you can't necessarily use the same song across platforms. So we'll leave this video without music for now, and once we upload to each app, we can grab a song from their music libraries. Let's add some animated graphics. Camtasia comes with audio visualizers, and there's three different styles to choose from. Just grab the one you like and drag it onto the timeline. Make sure to stretch it the same length as your video. In the Properties panel, you can control the color to match your style and change the size easily by adjusting the slider. Because we aren't including music yet, the visualizer will only sync with your audio. When you're all set and you like the way your video's turned out, export it from Camtasia. You can select Local File and save it to your computer. If you wanna upload your video to each platform from your phone, it might be tricky. iPhone and Mac users have the ability to right-click it and share as an airdropped file. Windows users may be able to use OneDrive or another service to save it in the cloud. But we'd recommend not bothering with that if it's gonna be a pain. Did you know you can upload to YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram all from a desktop browser? And there you have it. In just a few steps, your video is complete and ready to be posted. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to do so. And did you know that Camtasia is also on TikTok and Instagram? Go follow us over there for more helpful tips. Thanks for watching.